have a secret for you, something that will change your life. You belong to God. You are an Israelite if you're a believer in God. Do you know that you're not a Gentile? Have you read the book of Revelations and noticed there's no Gentile gate going into the New Jerusalem? And has that made you worried? Like, where am I going to go in? Have you noticed that the New Covenant, the Renewed Covenant in Hebrew, um, the Rus <laughs> Hadashah, have you noticed it's with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, not with the Gentiles? Where does that leave you? You are Israel. Do you know very, very, very highly likely if you are a Christian who believes in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you were one of the 10 tribes that were scattered through the European nations. They went right through the European nations over then to America and Canada in about 720 to 730 BC by um, Tiglath Pileser, the Assyrian army. They scattered them, displaced them, and they became the fullness of the Gentiles as prophesied in Genesis chapter 46, verse 19. And also in the whole book of Hosea, it says they were not going to be God's people, become gray-haired, not know they're the ancient people, and then they're going to come back and get their identity back. And that is most likely you. Now, are there actual Gentiles like Caleb and Ruth? Absolutely. But they became Israelites. Did you know that Caleb, one of the two spies who got to go into the Promised Land, was a blood Gentile? But he became an Israelite. He was the leader of Judah. So guys, I have some news for you. You are an Israelite. Ezekiel 47, the last three verses says, when Yeshua returns, the Gentiles that live with us, people of God, you get a portion in whatever tribe you choose to sojourn. So welcome to the kingdom, brother.